as you see in the title today i am sharing with you a thrifty Th and if you're not familiar thrifty thursday is an open collaboration that is hosted by my good friend sherry of turquoise dreaming and um her channel uh, will be linked in the description box after the live you know after i'm done with the live i should have done it before but i forgot okay so i'm like stacking things up and i'm gonna share with you my title is less than one dollar finds i'm gonna share with you first the things that were uh more than a dollar but then the rest will all be less than a dollar so first of all um these <laughs> have actually been outside for a while that's why you see the yellow sticker these i got from goodwill do you see how much they wanted for them 8.49 12.49 but as tarnished and oxidized as they are nobody paid that for it so i was able to find these during the one dollar thursday um sale so basically in my area and the goodwills in different areas do different kinds of sales i've noticed a lot of them will do a 50 percent of color but some of them like in my area where i used to live they didn't do this so that's why i know that they're, they're different in my area, they uh, the color of the week that has been 50% off goes to $1 on Thursdays. So I always like to check out to see what's left, and I picked these up. Now, um, I will try to clean them up and see how they come out. But um, let's see what this is. WM Rogers by Oneida. So this was an Oneida platter. And this one, let's see if it's marked at all. Oops, sorry, I bumped you. No, this one is not. But um, even if I cannot get them to look pretty uh, after I, you know, try to clean them um, or polish them, I can always spray paint them any color I want. And look at this. I mean, this you can't, you know, uh, the designs that are cut into it are already part of it. And it's like even spray painted black or white or any color really that goes with your decor it would have been you know pretty awesome so that's uh, why i'm counting this as a thrifty thursday find for crafting because i'll definitely have to do something with them and i actually this fits right over um a little planter that i had set up for my outside so it could be like a little table for me over there so um i might share that with you in another video whoa sorry about that okay um, I'm also going to share with you um, some dollar store finds because obviously they were more than a dollar. I'm starting with those first. Coming to the less than a dollar soon. Okay. Um, one second. Make sure I'm not having a chat. Okay. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree and I found these stickers, which I had not found in a And I used to have one of these, I think that one, on my phone liked it i may do that again over time you know some of the little pieces did come out but i'm gonna see if i can um add glue before gluing them you know not just with the sticky if that'll help not sure but anyway these are gorgeous gorgeous little gem stickers and those are just from the dollar tree sorry for the glare there we go so that was a dollar 25 and then for um napkins i should stop my napkins but mm, can't help myself um <laughs> i got these and these and um let me check with you like i did before <laughs> ah, i can't pause i'm live okay uh like i did before let me check with you if these have the print all around or just on one side so i apologize for the crinkle but i want to check to see what value we got here okay so this is one of those oh it does have the print all over which makes it very handy for crafting, decoupaging, that type of thing. So, yes, I'm glad. So, I think when they added that quarter, their quality went up a little bit because some napkins I found have only had the print in the middle and not on the sides. But this does have the print all over, which makes it a really nice deal for crafting. There are 14 napkins here for $1.25. So, that's awesome. So I am hoping this will be the same. And these are lovely pumpkins. That blue turquoise color has been popular uh, in the last couple of years for fall. I really like it too. 
So let's see if I don't want to take them all out. Oh, yeah, I think it does have the all over design. It does. So you get uh, six of these. Actually, it's one, one design all across uh, one side and then all across the other. So that is lovely. And also they're flipped like, you know, here it's going this way. The blue pumpkins on this side and then here it's this side so if you wanted to do something where um, they uh, coordinated what your items you could do that so that is cool that was from the Dollar Tree and yes even at the Dollar Tree you can find things for less than a dollar and I found this little guy now I had purchased some of these at the full 125 price they come two to a pack but check it out they put this at 25 cents for just one of them. So that was, you know, an even better deal than, uh, you know, because half I, they could have done at the 75 cents. But I got this little guy for 25 cents. So I was very, very happy to, to get him. So that was my uh, dollar store. Okay, now on to the um, thrifting or yard selling, actually. The rest of the items I picked up at a yard sale. The first yard sale I went to was a little pricey, but I did find a couple of things that were worth it. These um, embroidery hoops, he had a $2. So I went ahead and got those. And they're in this bag because um, for $2, so each one was definitely less than a dollar for that price. But I like how this one has this little decorative end here. So this is definitely designed to frame. Oh, yeah, this looks like wood, but it's actually like a rubbery material. So this is designed to frame your cross stitch work or whatever. And and then you put this little rubbery piece on top and it's automatically home decor. You know, um, it says uh, Taiwan here. So it's probably a vintage uh, embroidery hoop. I, I don't think I've ever seen one like this. It's really cool. Totally looks like wood, but it's actually like a rubber and and it's ready to go to frame your 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 art piece so that is really neat uh, i don't know i might hold on to that one and um, see now these are your traditional hoops this is also a different one I th i've seen these before i don't know that i've ever had one this is the one that has the springs right here and if you hear noise in the background i apologize it's my dog playing with his toys <laughs> so anyway yeah so it's got this spring that i guess makes it just stretch yeah makes a stretch just a teeny bit just so that you can push this in here so that's neat i got three different types of embroidery hoops and this is your traditional one but i'm thinking this one's also it says white horse so i don't know what kind i don't know that brand but it feels like it might be let's see made in taiwan might be a little vintage also so he bought it or somebody bought it for 99 cents at one point probably at another yard sale or at a so embroidery hoops um if you can get them it's a good deal so to get three for two dollars i thought it was pretty cute and this one is hold tight made in the usa hmm, cool so those were two dollars these were a dollar same yard sale um brand new mickey and mini keychains of course hard to resist they are pre-priced at $3.99, so somewhere they were $3.99, but he uh, sold them to me for a dollar each, so I thought that was a nice deal. They sell some figures like this at the dollar store, but even there it's $1.25, and these do look to be a better quality, even though they're still, you know, made in China and all that, but they're a little bit better quality than what you get at the Dollar Tree, and they're already keychains, so... Um, I grabbed them because I thought they would make cute little gifts. I don't know for who yet, but, um, you know, just as they are, they make nice little stocking stuffers or what have you. Then um, I picked up at that same yard sale these bags. And I was actually, I've actually been eyeing these pretzel bags for a craft uh, project that I have seen done every year for Christmas. And I just never got around to doing it. Because I'm such a cheapskate, I didn't want to pay the couple of dollars <laughs> that these are at Walmart. But I got these for 50 cents each. So instead of paying, I forgot how much exactly it is, a couple of dollars at Walmart for one package, I got four packages for $2. 
So definitely excited about this. And um, we'll see if I actually get that project done. But it's basically wrapping up, you know, your little uh, nugget chocolates in these. I've seen a lot of people do that for their yards, for their uh, craft shows. And they say it's always a good seller. So if I do a craft show this year, I'd like to try that because it seems very simple. So now I have the baggies if I want to do that. So that was less than a dollar for sure because it was 50 cents each bag. So thank you for the thumbs up. Whoever's out there, if you want to say hi, that'd be great. If not, that is fine. I still want to thank you. All right. So, uh, oh, there's one more thing in here. Hold on. What else did I find in here? Oh, I forgot about these. Where did I get these? Okay. So apparently, I don't know. Oh, okay. I remember. Um, these are actually from my last thrift haul. I already showed it. Apparently, these fell off where I got a whole bunch of stuff for a quarter. I don't remember showing these, but apparently I had them in this bag. And this is a little horny toad. Um, if you're in Texas and those places, I'm sure you're familiar with these little critters. But I just thought it was too adorable. He is pewter. So he's marked pewter. And uh, for a quarter... Yes, please. I will just put them up here in my little, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to be looking at me. Okay. And then this pin I thought was adorable. Definitely a vintage pin. It's not marked or anything that I can tell. Actually, now that I'm saying that it is marked, um, I didn't notice the mark before. Not that it matters much for, you know, uh, necessarily what I wanted it for, but let's see what it says we can make it out mm, nope sand sand something see sandra looks like i'm not sure but um i mean i want to say it says sandra sandoa or, yeah anyway it's a really cute pin so um for a quarter definitely couldn't beat it like these little grapes and um, the um, pearls are kind of getting scratched off. So it's not super quality, but it's really cute. You have to look at it really close to see that. And okay, so that was a quarter. Less than a dollar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> then pretty much the rest of the stuff I think was a quarter. Okay. Um, I found this little thrift shop that um, just reopened for the season. It's a, a from, from a church. And I found, oh, let me show you. The one other thing I found there is uh, this thing, which I love these. And as you can see, I did pay a dollar for this one. It's one of those expandable um, peg, you know, for, for your wall. And this is a large one. It's larger than the ones I have. I, I have several. I have like three or four. I haven't put them all up yet. Um, so I'm thinking um, I'm going to put, I like this one better because this one is, 18 inches i believe the other ones are probably less than 12 and so it's nice and big and somebody wrapped a yeah dead rubber band okay i gotta clean that but yeah so that'll go up on my wall and it's actually a vintage one it's marked japan so that's pretty cool and that is going up from my wall for organizing and hanging stuff and then i found these adorable little rattles they're like vintage for sure I don't see any markings on them and I actually checked on eBay to see if they sold for, you know, if, if they were collectible or anything, they really don't sell for very much, but I just think they're adorable. I might just use these in my craft room or I don't know, just to decorate just because I, I think they're so adorable. Um, this one is marked, let's see, Bulby or something made in Japan. So yeah, look how cute he is. Yeah. And then um, this one, I did see this one um, on eBay, but again, it wasn't bringing in a lot. So I'm probably not going to sell these waggy wheels. <laughs> and then just a set of keys, which look older. They had several set of keys, but these one looked old. And I like that they say health, happiness, and uh, health, I guess. Two healths and one happiness. <laughs> okay. So those were a quarter each. I was so excited to get them. Because I don't have anything that looks this kitschy, you know? So, ah, love to use that word, kitschy. I don't use it very often. Okay. 
So I got that, and there was one other thing. What was on? Oh, this I got also at that little thrift store. This little quail, and of course, um, living where we do now and on the desert, we do see these little guys. I think it's a quail. Anyway, some sort of little bird, and actually, it's missing its little thing on the head. So maybe it's not a quail, but it, it's cute. I mean, I can't resist miniatures. <laughs> so there is that. I'm also going to share one thing that I never shared, but I got it a while ago. And I didn't share it on Thrifty Thursday because for me, it's not that thrifty, but I couldn't resist. And it is the little pair of uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus. I actually pay a dollar for them, which for me is really high. But, you know, they're like so vintage and like cute that I couldn't resist. So I went ahead and paid the dollar for them. And they have been sitting here on my, um, let's see, on my drawer uh, organizer thingy here next to my craft desk just you know decorating it already for Christmas okay so I've shared all this all right next yard sale everything I got there was also a quarter I couldn't believe it um, I'm gonna share this with you because I want to get it off my desk uh, I did wash it before giving it to bolt but it's a bolt toy so yes it's a baby toy as you can see, he's already in, been enjoying it. <laughs> it had those little plastic rings. He did bite those off. So um, I wish I had thought to take them off before. But he loves the squeak. He loves the rattle. And he loves all these little protrusions. See? Like the ears chewed off. And uh, yeah. So a little, um, a little hint or hack. Baby toys are perfect as dog toys because they're pretty much furry uh, babies you know you don't want to get anything that has those eyes um you know those button eyes or anything you want to get something that doesn't have um anything that they could like chew and you know they can choke too or or get sick with that so um i'm glad i saw when he broke the the little plastic rings so i could throw them out but yeah he loves this guy and um i also picked up um this little guy for him he is actually a baby gap bear. He is so cute. He came with a little sweater, but I took it off because I didn't want him like ripping it. I don't know why. I thought I might be able to use it on another doll. But again, he's just got, you know, sewn eyes, so it's not going to hurt him. And he hasn't played with this one much. And then I also found a little, um, actually a Peter Rabbit. But I can't find it, so it's probably gone under a piece of furniture or something. But he is loving his toys. I love getting him toys because he actually plays with them. And it's so much fun. Okay. A couple of other little uh, knick-knacky things. Check this out. Let's see. Um, if it is. Okay, here we go. God is with thee and all that thou doest. So that's like that old English thing, <laughs> language in Genesis 21, 22. And it's just a little trinket box. But look how cute it is imperial porcelain so you know not not a huge um i don't know if it's vintage or anything like that nothing super special other than that it's cute wonder if i can clean that it's a little bit yeah I, I, i'm sure i can clean that yeah it's coming off it's just a little smooch some so yeah um not sure if that the, that'll make a nice little present or if i decide to i could always resell it but i just thought that was cute for a quarter so yes and then this little guy, I couldn't believe he was a quarter too. Again, another kitschy type item um, made in Japan. And he's in perfect shape. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with him. Again, that's just a little dirt. And he is adorable. So I will be happy to add him to my Christmas decor. He'll fit just about anywhere. So yeah, love him. And then the linens. Oh my goodness. I was so happy to find these. Now, the, all of these have stains on them. So she was selling them for a quarter. Like, here's the stain on this one. But if I can't get the stains out, it's like no big deal. Because, again, we use these things for junk journals and stuff, right? So a nice cotton uh, piece of, I guess it's like a little dresser scarf or, uh, you know, something you would put on, on a sofa table. But look how gorgeous that is. I just love the embroidery on it. And if you look at the back, you can always tell if it was a good embroidery embroiderer. 
if the back looks, uh, you know, neat. So this one definitely is a good, well, a good job. Good job, whoever did this. And look how pretty. All those little French knots. Oh, my goodness. So, that yeah, it's got this on one end and uh, on the other end, two ends. So that would make a cute little cover or just, a, you know, a pocket. I mean, you know what you can do with these little embroidered pieces. So definitely love that one. This one is larger. I want to say it's like a tablecloth. It's like a small square tablecloth. Again, very um, stained. But look how pretty these um, this cut work is right here. Definitely don't have to iron it. But look how beautiful that embroidery. Now, this looks like maybe machine embroidery, but who cares? Look how pretty it is. <laughs> so there's this. This is the corners, and this is towards the center. This is the center right here. So I'm not going to open it all up because it won't fit in this uh, screen right now. But yeah, one quarter. I could not pass it up. So yay. Yay. That's the second one, and then a couple more. Yep. I wish she had had more, because I would have taken everything she has. I mean, she's, for a quarter, yeah, I could not believe it. This is another little small small table um, tablecloth. So it's got four of these corners right here. Isn't that beautiful? And this is actually applique. So let me see what it looks like on the back. Nice work. So it's applique with a little embroidery on top. And the all the whole border is... Uh, embroidered with these little excess like that all along I mean that was a lot of work whoever did this so um, yes I was glad to pick that up for a quarter again this on four sides and then on the on the four corners and then on the four sides we have this little piece right here and in the middle we have okay so around the middle again on the four corners we have this large, beautiful embroidery right here. So gorgeous. Could not pass it up for a quarter. So that is um, going to my crafty stash, which is continuing to grow. But, um, you know, can't resist when you get those deals, right? <laughs> and then finally, um, the the grandma in at the yard sale, she showed me this when she saw me looking at the linens. And, I mean, it's not like... You know, super -dee special, but it's still a nice little, um, you know, kind of like long doily crocheted um, again, um, sofa table, you know, runner or whatever. So, this is what it looks like. I could definitely cut up those little middle pieces, and the any of these pieces are usable. Um, love how it has these little at the ends, you know, it's got these little kind of uh protrusions i don't know <laughs> so this is like more finished um if i wanted to cut it as a doily i would only have to cut these sides right here so yeah i mean lots of uh fun fun supplies for crafting and actually i don't see any uh stains on this this i might uh go ahead and uh use this on my like under my tv because it's one of those long tables like that so there you go. I would have to definitely iron it, but yeah, um, it could have a you know another life as it was intended, and then when I get tired of it, I can always craft with it. So, gotta love that. That is a deal, definitely. And I believe that is all I have for you today. I was just so excited to share with you my little haul of mostly under a dollar finds. Um, if you came in late on the live, just go back and, and check out the beginning where I shared some of the other items that I got that were not quite under a dollar, but still a good deal. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, anyone who joined me live. And definitely, if you like the thrift hauls, uh, use the hashtag Thrifty Thursday to find lots more thrift hauls that will be going up today and that have been going up, you know, throughout the past weeks. Again, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.